four, three, two, one, and liftoff. Man had successfully reached the heavens. The next goal, the moon. But how? When we left Earth, the NASA missions goes deep inside the film vaults of NASA and a quest to reveal stunning new images in high definition. Project Gemini, friends and rivals. January 3rd, 1962, nine astronauts are called for duty. These men would take bold steps toward putting a man on the moon. The project would be called Gemini. Named for the Zodiac Twins, all Gemini missions would be flown by teams of two. The goals were clear. Long durations in space, rendezvous and docking while in orbit, and how the human body would respond to long-term weightlessness. But first, more horsepower was needed. New rockets capable of propelling a capsule to the moon, like the Titan, would be developed and tested. Project Gemini lasted four years and 12 missions, each one more challenging and dangerous than the previous. NASA scientists tasked astronaut Ed White with the first EVA, or extravehicular activity. Gemini 4, Hawaii, Capcom. We just had word from Houston. We're ready to have you get out whenever you're ready. At 17,500 miles per hour, he left the safety of Gemini 4 and became the first person to walk in space. OK, I'm out. OK, now, get close. White, tethered by a lifeline for 36 minutes, proved that astronauts could survive weightlessness in space, a crucial step towards landing a man on the moon. This is the greatest experience I've NASA then planned its most harrowing Gemini mission to date, having two crafts rendezvous in space. While orbiting the Earth, Gemini 6 met Gemini 7 and then attempted to station keep, an extremely difficult and precise maneuver to execute. As the Earth races below them, both crews worked independently to align the two spacecraft and hold their positions. Is that spacecraft seven? 300 feet, we're directly below them. 180 feet, 120 feet. Holding 120 feet, Wally. Gemini 6 edged closer to Gemini 7. No two crafts had ever been this close. Like a magnificent dance, it was over in less than five hours and three orbits around the Earth. November 11, 1966, the project launched its final mission, Gemini 12, guided by James Lovell and rookie astronaut Buzz Aldrin. Aldrin spent more than five and a half hours walking in space, while Lovell successfully docked to the target ship Agena, keeping stationed during an EVA. NASA's Gemini project would end in triumph. Teams of astronauts were now space tested, and with the Apollo missions planned, the race to the moon could begin. The stage was set for man's greatest adventure.